So a friend sent me this from Instagram. I hope it uploads okay. <clears throat> and it's all just a simple, easy, concise way to understand the Agenda 21. So let's check it out. Agenda 21 is kind of a code name for a master plan originated at the United Nations to change the like, political the and economic system of the world to one of total collectivism. And in order to do that, people must not be allowed to have independence. They must be dependent on the state for everything. Otherwise, they won't, they won't be easily controlled by the state. That means they can't have private property, mostly. They cannot have land of their own. They have to live in preferably high-rise apartments uh, that are provided to them by the state as a benefit, so to speak. Oh, good, we got a free apartment. But they want, these people at the top want all humans to be dependent on the largesse of the state. That means that they don't want anybody living out in the boonies. Anybody that's got a couple of acres of land and his own water supply and can grow his own food and that kind of thing, or have some sheep or some chickens, these people are a threat to the collectivist society because they aren't going to go to the politicians and say, please feed me, please clothe me, please give me shelter. They tend to be independent. That's the secret behind Agenda 21. They want people out of the country. They want corporations out there growing all the food and that kind of thing, but they don't want anybody living out there because that way they cannot be controlled. In order to control mankind, we have to get them all into the big cities. We have to rack them up and stack them up, get them dependent on the state for their food, their shelter, their electrical power, their water, everything. That's the dirty secret behind Agenda 21. <laughs> okay, we don't need to watch Woody Allen. Just another pedo. Okay, um, what's so, so interesting about that whole thing too is <clears throat> that um, there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna think this is cool. I mean, I just went into Walmart to get some supplies for my client and there's people out there panhandling and I could see these people, like they're going from being homeless to wanting to live in this. I don't know where homeless people are going to fit into this thing. We got mental illness. You got all kinds of people out there with struggles. And then uh, these farmers and people like that. I mean, my landlord, they are farmers and they're an amazing people. And I, I know they're, they're aware of all of this. I've talked to them about all this. Agenda 21 stuff, and they're dairy farmers. They have lots of properties that they rent. I mean, I don't know how they, you crash the, I mean, this is just insane. It's like, so I was watching uh, the movie They Live the other day. It came on, and, uh, well, actually, I own it. What am I talking about? It came on. <laughs> anyway, uh, but they they actually had in that movie a scene where they it was a party for all of the elite. Here, let's look outside. It's pretty out there. Uh, f for all the elite out there. And it was a big party. Anyway, they go into the uh, the two main characters. They go in, and they the guy on the stage was announcing something about 2025. Is it, And this was a movie made in the 80s, and they're talking about 2025 as a pivotal year for these elite people. So that's something interesting to think about. Um, but anyway, uh, what do you think about that little video? And um, you can share it with your friends and family. All right. Lo love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.